El Hombre Gris o The Grey Man es la nueva película de los hermanos Russo para Netflix. Protagonizada por Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans y un elenco estelar, esta película sigue a un agente de la CIA interpretado por Ryan Gosling, conocido como Sierra Six, cuyo mundo cambia de un momento a otro luego de que la agencia ordena que sea eliminado. La cacería será encabezada por un mercenario llamado Lloyd Hanson, interpretado por Chris Evans, quien hará hasta lo imposible para acabar con él. Joe y Anthony Russo son de los directores más populares de la cultura pop desde hace algunos años, pasando de producir y dirigir increíbles series de televisión como Arrested Development y Community a convertirse en los directores más reconocidos del universo cinematográfico de Marvel al dirigir Captain America The Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War y Avengers Endgame. Después de Marvel dirigieron Cherry, protagonizada por Tom Holland, y ahora en su nuevo proyecto El Hombre gris, colaboran con uno de los actores que conocieron en Marvel, Chris Evans, pero en un papel muy diferente. Netflix me dio la oportunidad de ver la película antes de su estreno este 22 de julio para poder platicar unos momentos con Joe y Anthony Russo sobre todo su trabajo detrás de esta explosiva película y esto fue lo que me dijeron. Hi guys, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Good, uh, it's so nice to see you. Uh, I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you so much. I think this movie, the story, could easily be adapted into a video game, even an anime. Uh, does this type of media influence your vision for this movie at all? Yeah, of course. I mean, look, it, everything influences us. My brother and I are pop culture junkies. We absorb everything. You know, we're we're mixed media fans. We like how media can interplay. You know, we love to make games of our movies. We love to, you know, make, do TV show offshoots or, you know, and find ways to tie everything together. So we are definitely influenced by um, other media. And there's lots of really dynamic camera work in the film that has that sort of pace of anime. So I can see where, where you saw similarities. The first sequence when they are in Bangkok uh, has a very different vibe to the rest of the movie. The use of color, the lighting, the, the framing. And, and we see that Six is like a gray man in this very colorful world. Can you tell us a little bit about these aspects? Yeah, I mean, we look at, we start the movie in something that feels a little more familiar for a film like this. You know, it's it's kind of like our normal world. And it was also a way for us to really highlight, you know, the, the and contrast who the Ryan Gosling character is in that kind of world. This idea that he can move anonymous, anonymously through a space like that uh, and remain unseen, unnoticed. But then uh, you know, the movie has a twist at the end of that sequence that's kind of throws us into a very different place. Uh, the Ryan Gosling character goes from a place of being, you know, doing his job as a CIA agent to all of a sudden feel like, feeling, feeling like he can't trust the situation any longer and he has to go on the run. So that kind of turns the movie on its head and he's in a very different spot after that opening scene. Not only is this movie action-packed, it also has a, a very funny, quirky, witty sense of humor. Um, was it hard to balance the tone of the film? It's always hard to balance tone. Anthony and I always say that that's the, that's the most difficult aspect of making a movie. And in fact, probably where you can fail the fastest is if your, your tone is out of balance. We love that about this movie. And we wanted to really make a film that had our sort of trademark sense of humor in it. Um, but also had jeopardy and stakes and real world stakes, um, but was very self-referential and didn't, you know, didn't at any point ever lose that sense of fun. You know, we try to, we're film, we grew up as film fans. Anthony and I would go to the movies with packed houses and listen to people cheering and having a blast and would quote movies with our buddies. And so, uh, you know, to us, we make movies from a film fan standpoint. We want to give people a great experience. We want them Uh, um, to feel jeopardy and emotion and laugh and, you know, sort of roll all that together. And, and whenever we can do that, we feel like we've succeeded and we're very happy with the tone of the gray man. Something important is that we see a uh, deconstruction of these characters. We see subtle hints that there's more to them. Uh, what's the most important aspect of these characters that you want the audience to see? Well, the, look at these people, to us, these characters are all fascinating and flawed people. And it's, you know, we're, we want to take people like that, interesting characters, and then challenge them with these overwhelming 
problems and see how they how they move through that. And I feel like that is true for every character, single character in this movie. We have a, a large ensemble in this movie filled with wonderful actors, and they're all sort of trying to find their way through these extraordinary challenges and situations. Um, and you know, it's our ability to empathize with their with their struggle. That's sort of that's a lot of the fun of the movie. So that's really the essence of how we approach the storytelling, what we hope audiences will connect to. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Thank you. Pues esta fue mi entrevista con Joe y Anthony Russo. Espero que la hayan disfrutado. Recuerden que El Hombre Gris se estrena este 22 de julio en Netflix. Muchas gracias a Netflix por la oportunidad de realizar esta entrevista y gracias a ti por ver este video. Si te gustó, dale like, compártelo, comenta, suscríbete al canal y sígueme en redes sociales como Pau de L. Castillo. Y recuerda, ¿para qué ser un art si puede ser un extraordinario? Adiós.